Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm cooking today and I thought it would be fun for you to come and watch because it'll probably end up being a complete disaster. I'm cooking frittata and I've done it before but only once and I can't remember how to do it. So, <laughs> let's do it! Okay, so I'm gonna cook. I'm cooking this. It is called frittata. And I'm sorry if you fall to your death, you're sitting in a very precarious place, but it's the only place I could find. So, I'm going to bring onions, I've got my mushrooms, I've got my sun dried tomatoes, I've got my potatoes. Almost, I just saved, saved you from death. vlogging is difficult. So, I'm peeling my mushrooms. I hate washing mushrooms. It's like my least favourite cooking job in the world. It makes my hands hurt because the water is so cold. And it's just easier to peel them. Basically, so I'm peeling them. Sorry, I keep disappearing because I'm reaching over to the sink. I don't really enjoy cooking, to be honest. It doesn't interest me, but, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? I used to cook for myself when I was a student, so I can do it, and I survived, and I never poisoned myself, except for the day that I ate a fish finger, chips, and cheese sandwich, and I was... I couldn't eat anything else for, like... Three, three days. Watch that. I think I've done four mushrooms. I think that'll be enough. This is all guesswork. I'm going to eat this one. What mushroom is the dogs? Um, I always get really nervous cooking for other people as well because I don't want to feed them something they won't like or something that's turned out crap, I just have memories of doing cooking at school and bringing home awful, awful things and my parents just being like, mmm, yeah, it's really nice, just thanks. Okay, I have my three onions and my mushrooms, my potatoes are boiling. Stop whinging, cat. I'm not giving you anything. You have food in your bowl. Where the blaze is, it's right in front of me. You don't want any of this food anyway, Marty. It's very not nice. So the oil's heating. Say hello. Hello. No, no, I shouldn't be so close to the food. And now wash your cat stained hands. And don't tell your parents you wave your cat over the hob. I feel really quite a dick. Now the recipe reckons four eggs for four people one each. My mum reckons and my sister reckons two eggs per person. That's eight. This one's cracked. Oh, that's weird. It's cracked but it's like resealed itself. Grating cheese, grating cheese. This is my grating cheese song. I'm really bad at grating cheese. It's not a skill. Iron Harbour. Oh, I make such a mess when I cook. But I always say the best chef do. Oops. So I'm putting the mushrooms in, and I'm putting the spring onions all over the hob. 
is obviously the most useful place for them to go. Um, adding the sweet corn, which I'm not weighing out because I don't do that. I just chuck it all in. So I'm chucking it in. Check it out. It's just like a massive mess. Let's turn it up a bit. Um, what else? These are obviously already cooked, so I'm going to put them in a bit later. Once these are a bit more cooked, I'm going to add the eggs and the tomato and the cheese, and then I'm going to put it under a grill. I'm going to add the tomatoes. Oops. I'm gonna use my fingers, they're clean. It's fine. And I hope I'm hungry to eat hungry enough to eat this because I really don't feel very well. At the moment I feel a bit sick and I don't really want to eat. Okay, so now I put the eggs in and the cheese in and I'm cooking it until the eggs start to like harden around the edges. And then I'm going to put it in the grill. And mum's made some bread, so that's exciting. You are all greasy and slimy. I think I might get you like a little coat. They're all shiny and new. That'll do. Now this for me is the scariest bit. Putting it in the grill and making sure it's cooked without melting the handle. I'm really bad with this camera, I'm really sorry. I'm not very good at multitasking, I can stand and talk. I can't cook and talk, apparently. Quite a while This book's really good, I'll show you it. I got it for Christmas from my sister who is totally into cooking and it was whilst I was at uni. Um, so I'll have to talk for myself. And there's some amazing stuff. Yummy! Um, whilst we were at St Albans Festival yeah, the other day, I found these things. They're little rice paper... things. And what you do, right, is you put them on your tongue and... Yeah, I like that. Ah, ah, ah. And they leave a mark. Yeah, like a tattoo. Isn't that so weird? That was a bit rubbish. It just looks like I bit my tongue. Tastes good though.